Hello everyone, um, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on NGUI. I've got the free version downloaded um, because I don't have the money to buy the full one yet, but I will eventually get the full one once I have my money. So, um, to download the, um, the kit, but the, how do I say, it, the free version, you go to tasharin.com, the link's going to be in the description box. You go on the products, NGUI, and then scroll all the way down and find evaluation version. Then click on that. Click on a, you can download the free edition GUI here. By the way, if you already know the basics and you've got this installed, then you know you can move on to the next um, to the next tutorial. But if you don't, then uh, it's probably wise to stay. So what I'm going to do is first of all, before continuing that download, I'm going to show you a quick game I made, well not quick, but a game I've been making with NGUI. When you have the evaluation kit, you get this text up here and this um, texture right here. But, you know, it's not that big of a deal for what you get. This whole GUI, um, you can see this whole HUD, is packed under one UI root. And within that UI root, you have a camera which is an orthographic, well you're meant to make it an orthographic and that's only meant to capture I don't know if you can see, that's only meant to capture the GUI and then you get the anchor and then the panel the panel kinda squishes everything together to uh, give you one draw call this whole thing requires one draw call that's the, the most amazing thing about NGUI but not just that NGUI is also very very easy to use once you understand how to use it so let me show you. This is an inventory I did. Just a, a menu. I can scroll up to move my camera back and forward. We're going to get into um, making these things soon. Probably in a second tutorial. I can pick up items and then um, in my inventory, just post them over like this. And these are buttons so I can click on them and equip armor like that. And as well, you can have uh, spell buttons like this. Just, uh, on that casting bars, then spells. I can hit him, heal myself. So all types of stuff like that. Then we have our name, our level, the you know your health, the HP and stuff. So okay, so let's carry on. The first thing you want to do is you know create a new project because you might mess up the first time you you know you play with NGUI and that could really mess up your project and it did to me. I had to, you know, relink everything together. I don't know what happened, but I had to do it. So what you want to do is um, create a new project for now. So while that's going on, I'm going to find it. Uh, project six, and I'm just gonna let Unity create it. I'm gonna pause it while it's creating it. Where's my, oh yeah, there it is. Okay. So now you wanna create a new folder under your, um, your, that folder, and call that resources. This is just the way I like to do it. And then just save that package there. Okay. Once you've done that, um, let me set my, you want it to be a bit more like yours. No. Um, okay. Okay, once you've done that, you want to go to Assets, Import Package, and Custom Package. Then you want to find your resources and the package and just press Open. Alright, so what we're going to go over now is um, this import. What we're going to be going over is the different. UI elements you get with uh, NGUI, you know, to use it, things like um, widget makers and stuff like that. So we're gonna go over the interface, and then uh, we're gonna look at some examples and just actually no, we're not gonna look at examples. We're just gonna make them. You have plenty of time to look at the examples. Okay, nearly done. All right, so here's the package. I'm going to just click up here to update this bar and there we go we get an NGUI and lots of things such as attach collider make pixel perfect 
these two are for when you actually have an element selected so you don't want to worry about them for now um, then you get a create a panel a panel is that first thing I showed you that kind of bunches everything up to, together to give you um, uh, one draw call um, so now it's telling me I don't have a UI so I could create it from there but I can also go down to create a new G new UI so I'm gonna create the layer default because actually no let's add a layer let's add a layer NGY we're gonna need this for the camera if you wanna have two cameras working at once to be honest um, simple 2D will do and then uh, create UI great so now we have our new UI but there's no elements yet um, to be honest I don't know what all these things do so I can't really explain that but I'm pretty sure there's documentation on that yeah there probably is okay so what I like to do is just grab this um, where is it grab this create a widget and just click on it sorry click on it and then click on this tab up here and just drag it down next to my hierarchy hierarchy it. and then um, you get this interface here where you can select an atlas an atlas is basically all your textures bunched up into one big texture and that's um, one way to reduce the draw calls so um, oh, what's this come on come on uh, no I don't really mind okay so with NGUI you get um, one, two, four um, ready-made atlases. I like the sci-fi atlas. You can pick any other one. I'm going to select that and also the sci-fi font. Uh, normal, the top one. Alright, after that you get template. So a template is what is the element, the GUI element going to be? Is it going to be a button? Uh, oh my god. Is it going to be a button? Is it going to be an image? Is it going to be a checkbox, progress bar, slider, input? You you know you get the point. I'm going to pick a. Uh, what should we do? Let's start simple and just make a um, tiled sprite. And then the sprite is the image. So you can have button, um, dark, and you can also add your own. This is within um, the atlas. So I'm just gonna pick dark for now, and then add to what this is a game object. I'm adding it to panel. It's always gonna be inside panel for it to work, or else it's just gonna keep adding draw calls, and that's not what you want. So now we've created this UI, and um, NGUI allows you to give. No, that's not what I mean. NGUI gives you an instant preview um, in the editor. You don't have to pr press play to to see the final result. You get it right there. So um, what I'm going to do is move the game tab down next to my project. I'm just going to move it up like that because I want to see what it looks like. All right. And now I'm just going to move this. Sorry, you have to move the um, whole UI route back. And also the camera is orthographic, so you want to actually let's just let's just increase the size of the tile so what I'm gonna do is increase that to about 300 by 300 or we can just use the scale tool because it's a tile it'll just keep no it doesn't alright well anyway you can see how it's kinda messing up well it creates this effect and that's because it's a tiled thing texture and I'm also I can also switch this back to dark yeah I'm gonna make it highlight looks nice honeycomb and GUI light yeah that looks good I'm gonna delete this one actually and just create a sprite dark I don't like that as well do uh, 
sliced. Finally. Okay. Sweet. Okay. So once you've done that, you can also change the sprite again. I'm gonna keep mine to dark though. The depth is um it's basically a layering system. So if you got multiple elements next to each other and you want one to go behind the other, maybe disappear or something, you can use that. But um this is automatically done, so you don't have to touch that. Color tint, you can easily change the color of your GUI element. I'm gonna keep mine to white. Make pixel perfect. Um, if you have decimal points and stuff like that, it's going to round it up just so it looks good. Pretty simple. Also, you can also um, click on this object and just hit um, make pixel perfect up here. Pivot point, top left, center, right. It's quite useful if you're going to make progress bar sliders and health bars if you want the health to bar to like decrease or increase in a certain direction so that's pretty good preview is just this image here okay so there we go that's one element so let's add something else um, how about a a button and I'm gonna keep the sprite button and I'm gonna add that so here is the default button you get uh, let's keep that small. In here you get a UI button script, so that's the main thing. Um, UI button scale, offset, and sound. Scale is when you hover over it. Let me hit play. You can see it adds these tween. And also plays a sound. And I'm just gonna keep this up. You can see one draw call, but you got two elements. If you did this with a, the U, uh, if you did this with the Unity GUI, you'd probably get two draw calls already, maybe three because you have a label there. Okay, um, for a button to work, you need to have the box collider always, and it's always gonna have to be the same size of the thing because it's what when you click, that's what the um, ray is gonna hit. So if you don't have that, your button will not know that you're clicking on it. In your um, hierarchy, you can open up the button and you get a background and a um, label. The background is the same as the button's background is the same as the sprite um, we first made. Then label. Now let's start with background. Background is pretty much the same thing. So done. Let's go to label. Label. You can change the font. Um, you can change the text. The text can also be changed from script as well as nearly everything else. So I'm just gonna call this play and maybe change its color to red or something nice like a uh, nice blue, uh, green. Let's keep it down. Yeah, like that. And then I can also shadow it and tint up the shadow, outline it. So this gives you a really nice effect, to be honest. And uh, colored or uncolored, I don't know what this means. Um, password is a password effect. If you don't want them to see it, you just get these X. That's all right. If you're going to make a login system, line width is, I don't know. I actually don't know. No clue. That doesn't matter. Multi line is when if if you have multi lines like that. But you don't need that ticked. Um, see how the depth depth now you've got multiple um, GUI elements. You got the first one at, at behind, then the background, and then label. So slice sprite is zero. Background is one, and the label is two. If I was to back this up, boom, you don't see it anymore. Okay, so that's done for the button. Um, let's do something. Actually, no, I'm going to keep that for the next straw. How long has this been? 14 minutes. Okay, I'm going to show you a few more widgets and then uh, let's see what else I can show you. Yeah, font maker. 
actually we've got enough things I'm just gonna go straight on to Atlas Maker actually let me pause it and what you wanna do um, now is just pause the video and find yourself a few icons or images to use just anything anything okay I'll be right back three two one okay um, now that you've got your images um, let's, see, let's have a look at mine I've got a few icons I'm using in my other game these are from the um, WoW World of Warcraft and um, I downloaded them from the wiki uh, they're pretty good oh, let me delete that I'm not meant to have that that's what we're creating okay so I've got swords shoulders blah 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 what you want to do now is unclick that and you want to go to Atlas Maker you'll see you have maybe sci-fi and Atlas you don't want that so click on it, this one and just take that off by clicking the delete key All right, I'm just gonna close that up now you wanna name your new Atlas I'm gonna call mine icons okay and then I'm just gonna hit create so now you've got this icons texture material thing here and you got a prefab um, within here you want to maybe let's add one image for, image for now yeah so just by clicking on it in your um, project it's automatically gonna put it up here but it's not added yet so what you want to do is click on this green bar add or update all and then um, you should see it changes to updated if you get any errors it's gonna tell you errors so just have a look before you carry on and then if I go on my materials you can see it's right there and it looks like glasses alright so it's right there now let's say I'm done but I get a few more icons later on so I have a few more icons here um, I can go back up to Atlas Maker click it and then just select the other ones like that and add and update all like that and all of them have added you can reveal more options by selecting one or more textures okay yep all done so now we have our material here with all our textures on it and if I was to go down now to my sliced sprite and click atlas I can select my icons and here we go we've got our big big icon right there um, let me change that to 640 by 640 yeah it's a bit depixelated but that's alright at least you can see how it works if I was to make this 64 by 64 and just kinda move it out the way you can see that looks good and then with the sprite like I said you can change it like that So in the next one, we're actually going to create a little menu where we can click things and actually add some coding to it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.